in previous videos about Music 21. We have crafted musical scores in Python by weaving together Music 21 objects such as notes and rests within streams. This approach, whilst flexible and comprehensive, can sometimes become needlessly cumbersome, especially when dealing with more straightforward musical material. To counter this, Music 21 offers a streamlined way of writing music using a string of characters called Tiny Notation. To use Tiny Notation in our Python program, we'll import Music 21, initialize a new variable called Tiny Stream, and assign it to the result of calling the converter.parse function. This function will convert a string argument into a Music 21 stream.part object that we can manipulate and display. For reasons that we will discover later, when using Tiny Stream, it's important to create a string using double and not single quotes. We declare our intentions to use tiny stream by specifying tiny notation colon space followed by a representation of the music we wish to create. We'll create a time signature containing two quarter notes per bar by specifying two forward slash four. We specify pitches using alphabetic characters separated by spaces. A sharp is indicated by a hash symbol, a natural by the letter N and a flat by a minus sign. Invoking tinystream.show and running our program confirms that we have successfully created a new stream containing quarter notes, all confined to a single octave within the treble clef. To distinguish which octave a note belongs to, tiny notation adopts a particular syntax, whereby lowercase letters indicate pitches in the fourth octave, such as middle C, and higher octaves are marked by single quote symbols, with each new single quote denoting one more upward octave transposition. Therefore, a lowercase c signifies middle C, and to represent the pitch that is one octave higher, we can use a lowercase c, followed by one single quote. Note that when we require an accidental, we must specify the octave after the letter name, but before the accidental. For instance, an E-flat in the sixth octave is defined with a lowercase e, followed by two single quotes, followed by a minus sign. Lower octaves can be represented using uppercase letters. For example, a single uppercase A will create a note in the third octave. If we want to go lower still, we simply repeat the letter. Hence, two uppercase Gs followed by a hash denote a G sharp in the second octave, and three uppercase Fs denote an F in the first octave. Following the convention set by Music 21, notes created using tiny notation have a default quarter note duration. We can specify a different desired duration with a numerical representation of a note value. For example, one means a whole note, two means a half note, four means a quarter note, and so forth. Once we specify a duration, subsequent notes will all assume the same duration unless we change it again. We therefore need only specify a duration for a note when it is different to the previous one. We can create a dotted note with a period, a tie with a tilde symbol, and a rest with a lowercase r. It's also possible to create triplets using tiny notation. To do this, we use the prefix trip and then enclose the triplet note within curly braces. Tiny notation is deliberately concise and user-friendly, a design choice that carries inherent limitations. We've therefore covered the breadth of what tiny notation in its standalone form can achieve, but having crafted basic musical streams, we can continue to add layers of complexity and combine them together by leveraging the broader capabilities of the Music 21 library. If you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please show support by liking and subscribing to the channel. Your input is especially helpful, be it feedback, thoughts, suggestions, or requests for future topics related to Python, Music 21, and creative coding. So please leave a comment below, and thank you for watching.